Yeah, so as Will said, you're gonna string our first LAN event on July 14th, 15th. So stay tuned and we wish to string more LAN events. That's what Next TV was made in. And for sure, in the next LAN event, we're gonna bring Next TV Will, my yeah. partner in crime, as it always say. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. We're gonna start this off here on Crash. Who do you wanna follow, Hugo? Well, let's start follow, following new TL host. <laughs> as I said in the knife run. Alrighty. Rohawks with the scope now, M40. Throwing the nade, trying to pick the B cross through the smoke here. And, um, yeah, the stream stream is lagging a little bit, Hugo. Yeah, just restarts it. Gonna, not gonna lag anymore. Alrighty. Anyways, we have Rojas picking here, and we have FGZ got got killed. Also, Johnny was got killed. We have four free for Nutiel already. And Zargo just killed Creole on chair, and Chelion killed Johnny was. Sorry, that's what's bug. Yeah, we have already four two for Nutiel. Yeah, in, in in the first round, we are ready to have a big call for next thing to scope the cracks. He, he starts having to show you what he's coming from. So, Will? I'm here. I'm just letting you carry on. Yeah, and it cracks with Killer, but they have a Chili on 1 0 for New TL. It's an amazing start for New TL. So, who are you gonna follow, Will? Alrighty, let's go ahead and throw in the cracks. I mean, um, definitely a dominant scope. Getting taken out there, not even picking up a kill in the first round, though, but I'm sure he'll get a few kills first here in a second. Missing a wall bang there, but Rohax picking up the frag on the Criollo. And the cracks trying to get a frag, but being taken out by the hands of Tazik. Nade, we're gonna go ahead and switch over. Um, to Zargus. Zargus with the AK-47 in the back butcher area, working his way to the gay bins. The 3v4 situation now from the next impetus side. We have Necrax, FGZ, and Johnny Waz against Rohawk, Zargus, Kha'Zix, and Shalion. Let's see if someone's going to be able to pick up a frag here. We're going to go ahead and switch over to Johnny Waz now. As he's in the stra uh, stri uh, God, the statue area, sorry. Uh, he's tagged up Rather heavily, he's gonna try and regain some health there, but he's gonna pick over and be taken out by the hands of Shalian. As the Keto taken out by the hands of Zargus as well. FGZ, the last remaining member of the next Impetus squad. If he's gonna drop out and pick up one frag onto Zargus, but will he pick up the second one? We're gonna follow him now as he gets taken out by Shalian. But getting tagged though, definitely a good try there made by FGZ, but not able to pick up the frag. We're gonna go ahead and start it off with Black here. Black, Eagle out, trying to rush with his. AKU into the A area. Johnny Waz is tagged up by the nade, but it looks as if he's gonna get by with his life. And Black is just gonna sit here and watch the cafe area. Definitely a dominant B push there made by the next in with the squad. We're gonna go ahead and switch over to Tazix as Rohox gets the frag. And Tazix just in the middle shops area now as Rohox put up the second frag onto Takito. And the cracks finally getting his uh, first frag. On to Shalian. Yeah, have free two for next team to Creole, Johnny Walls, and their cracks alive from the next team team, and Tuft and the Black are alive from the new TL team. And Johnny Walls going down, and Creole going down as well. Black going huge, he's being taken out finally by the cracks as he's tagged up heavily, and Tazix is in a 1v1 at the moment. Tazix still in the middle shop area, trying to get a peek on the cracks, but little does he know he's already in the B bomb site, but now he hears the bomb fake. And he falls for it, pre-firing the bomb site, giving away his position. This could be futile. Picking up the phenomenal headshot onto the cracks. That was a good, good, good clutch there made by Tazix. Phenomenal headshot. We're gonna go ahead and start it off with him. He's two and one right now. Tazix picking up that clutch that round. He's gonna go ahead and pre-fire the middle shop's window as 
no one dies by nades, but Toxic almost does. Hanging on to their life here, but Shallion takes that back. It's taken down by the hands of FGZ. Toxic sitting here in the double palm area. Trying to get a pick onto the B cross as Johnny Wands is tagged up by the hands of Rojas. So we have next team to just dominate the mid shopping all right trying to try to go inside the area and two members of the NUTL squad going down the packs in fast succession as Criollo and FGZ are taken down Tazix getting attacked on the bomb side onto Takeda but will he pick up the frag he won't but it be taken out by the hands of Johnny Watts as he tags him up as well Zargus is the last remaining NUTL member we're gonna switch over to him now as he's in this 1v3 situation it's very possible but will he be able to do it As he peeks around the corner, not picking up a frag, but he could get it here, and he doesn't as Johnny Waz faking him out. Johnny Waz picking up his third frag there. Uh, next impetus picking up their first round. The score is now 1-3. to three. So let's go ahead and follow Shally and our top fragger now, 5-2 and two for NUTL. Shally and throwing his mid-shops nade is he's going to sit back and, and wait for the nades to fall. <laughs> He gets a bit of a fail flash there, and Zargus and Criolla going down, both on each side. We're training frags here, back and forth. It's not 4-4. Four, four. So the script, but take that back. Tazik's going down. It's already a 4v3, but will Shalian pick up the frag? As he's missing the bullets now. Looks like Johnny Waz might be able to pick him up. His blast is tagged heavily, but will either of them go down as Shalian's working in the statue area, and Takedo with the team mark taking him down, but Shalian takes Johnny Waz down as well. Will he get a second frag? And he does on the FGZ. Crax is the last remaining player now for next impetus. Will he be able to pull off this 1v3 clutch that we just saw? Shelling it in. So, and again, so about the next Crax? He's, he's the last tiny man from next impetus. Yes, sir, he is. MG in hand, scope on his back. Will he be able to do this? And it looks like he won't as Black picks him up watching the front A area. And we're going to go ahead. Let's follow and Criolo. Follow Criolo. <laughs> Read my mind. Criolo working his way uh, to the B side. Another mixed push. Actually, they're pushing mid shots. And Criolo is going to go down by a native Zargus. But will he pick up one in return? And it looks like he won't. So we're going to go ahead and switch over to FGZ now. He's insanely flashed <laughs> outside of middle shots. So it looks like he's going to be able to get in. It's a 4v5 now. As we said earlier, it's Criolo is down. But Johnny Waz with a phenomenal shot. Off the black, but Takedo goes down, and Johnny Waz going down in quick succession by the hands of Shaolin. That's awesome, but Shaolin going huge with the two man on Tuna Cracks, and the three man with the Deagle. Shaolin, a phenomenal play there made by him, almost dying, but picking up the three man. I don't know who Shaolin is. is. I don't know who Shaolin is, but he's, he's being huge on the start of the map. Yes, sir, he is 10 and 2 already, and we're only six rounds into the game. Let's go ahead and follow um, Rojas. We haven't followed him since like the first round. So he's gonna pick to the B area, but one member of each team going down rather early into the round. Black and Criollo being those members. And the cracks after he's entered Johnny Waz. And Taquito, but take that back as Rojas is taking down the hands of the cracks. And Shawi and Taza going by the hands of Taquito. And FG said Zargus is the last remaining member as Johnny Waz picks up the tying frag, or to tie up the round, I should say. The score is now 2 to 5. Take this round, you So, okay, let's follow new TL Toxies, the AK47 defended B the A side, sorry. Lenny and Smoke in the E entrance. Also, an A to avoid the, the rush. Okay, let's move to Curiolo. He's also inside, all right inside the, at the flower, at the B. That's again a mix. Rush from next team to the side. And the Cheetah got killed by the hand of Zargos of AK47. And Creole got heavily tagged by Zargos and got killed by him. Oh, already two frags for Zargos. And a crash just killed the Toxic by an aid. Hey, yeah, seems that next team just going to the B side. That seems to be clear. <laughs> and Hoha just double kill. 
with Figo, joining all the in the cracks, and if you just do skill with Jehovah's, that's one two for the next aim for this. Oh, that was a phenomenal shot. Yeah, no chance for him, that's 6 2 for a new TL. Alrighty, here you wanna follow this round, Hugo. I know, just up to you. Alrighty, let's go ahead and follow uh, Takedo. As he's gonna go ahead and take the bomb now. And he's gonna throw the nade to the double bomb area. Or er, into A, actually. No NUTL member is in A at the moment. Go ahead and take the rest of this round, Hugo. Okay, let's, let's still follow. Let's follow Black, that's FN, SMG from new to other team trying to avoid the next team to rush inside the E area. Now we move to Ho, new to scope, seen everywhere in the middle of the street but not able to land any shot and Criolo got killed at Toxic. Johnny was just killed at Zargo, that's f Johnny was a double kill, triple kill for Johnny was and Chalion got just killed at FGZ. That's that's been an amazing round for Johnny Walls, 4 kills for him. And the cross just killed with red shot Rojas at 3 6 for next game Impetus. Okay, let's follow Johnny Walls that just did 4 kills on the last round. He seems to be rushed the cafe area on the east side. And next seats are also going to a mixed rush with some guys at A, some guys at B, not just Falcons only on bomb side and it looks like Johnny Watts is setting up a taps nade here but it looks like it's not going to connect with anyone he's going to go ahead and flash the front cap area as FGZ gets the nade kill on the Shalion but will Johnny Watts pick up a frag here and it doesn't look like it will seeing as there's no one there but it's already a 5v4 as Shalion was taken down and Zargus tagged up as is Tito and Johnny Watts Johnny Watts been shot in the foot through the wall there by Tazix we're gonna go ahead and switch over to Riolo now. He's in a sticky situation. Members everywhere. As he has his SMG in hand. Will he pick up the frag here? And he will as Taza goes down. And Criolo pick up his trusty MG. But will he pick up a frag? As the cracks is taken down with a phenomenal or the crack the cracks gets the frag on the Rojas with a phenomenal shot as FGZ is trying to take down Zargus here. With the last final bullets, and it looks like he will. The score is now 4 to 6. The NUTL is leading by two rounds, but it looks like next impetus is creeping up oh. slowly. Okay, let's go really fast to the, to the frags. Johnny Walls for next team 9 7, Razor 9 8, Necrax 7 6, Criolo 5 9, Tequito 3 6, Chelion 11 5, Zargos 8 8, Black 6 7, Hoha 6 6, and Toxic 6 7. Let's follow Black for NUTL. Alrighty, we got Black now with the Blue Tiger camo, AKU. A definitely dominant B push made by Next Impetus. And he's gonna sit here with his Deagle, he's gonna try and cross the street, but it looks like he thinks he's not gonna be able to. So he's gonna go ahead and rotate back, but it looks like Next Impetus is unsure of where they wanna go, seeing as there's rotating members now, but FGZ and Johnny Waz and the Cracks are up against a squad, a full squad of NUTL. I should say, Black really not able to do anything now let's let's go ahead and switch over to the cracks now as he's shooting off some bullets to the catwalk area but will he pick up the frag here to try and even this team clutch situation out and Zargas finally breaking the silence with the headshot onto FGZ it's a 2v5 now And Johnny Waz picking up the frag on Stallion. Yeah, but it seems to be too late for next team trying to plant the bomb. That's what it seems like as Necrax is the last remaining member. And he will be taken out by Rojas sitting in the spawn. The score is now 4 to 7, now leading by 3 rounds. Next Sympathist could possibly have to win this round to uh, be able to get a good advantage in the next half. So let's go ahead and follow FG's head from the start. And see what he's gonna do. He's gonna go ahead and throw a nade through the statue or garage area as Criolo goes, takes down Chalion with his nade, and Criolo going down right after by the hands of Zargus. We have FGZ here sitting in the middle shop area, waiting for someone to cross this. The cracks picks the enemy scope, Rawhawks. 
with a phenomenal shot made by him as FGZ dodging some bullets now. Will he pick up the frag? Tagging him up heavily, but will he get it? And he won't as Zargos with a phenomenal giggle onto FGZ being flanked there by Johnny Waz, revenging his teammate. The score or the teams now are two to two. We have Nick Cracks or Taquito and Johnny Waz against the squad of Tazix and Black. We're gonna go ahead and switch over to Johnny Waz now as he's in the middle shop area with his AK-47. Not knowing that there's one behind him, and he will be taken out by Black. Black could pick up the second frag here, but will he be able to do it? As he tags him up, but he's tagged up heavily as well. We're gonna switch over to Taquito now as he has his bomb on his back. Trying to pick up the frag here as he tags up Black again. But it looks like he will not get the frag as Black picks up the two man onto Taquito. The score is now four to eight at half. Now NUTL may be able to hold off the next infantry squad and could win this. Yeah, we just received the information that Chalions, the as known as Chaka, all player from HD from Argentina. Alrighty, who do you want to follow off the first round of the half? Let's follow Chaka. Let's follow Chalion, sorry. I can't check him. Alrighty, we have Chalion here. Really just sitting in the B connector area with his AKU and Deagle as FGZ picks up the frag and Tazic picking up a frag as well. That's two members of the NUTL squad. Three members going down in quick succession as Criollo goes down by the hands of. And Johnny was just rolling on the mid shop trying to avoid the other guy just pass and challenge just dominated the mid shop. And it looks like it's a 2 v 3 situation now as Rohox and Shaolin is up against the spot of Tikito, FG's head in the cracks. We're gonna stay on Shaolin now as he's in the mid shop area. Shaolin dodging some deagle bullets. <laughs> and spotting two members just as he goes off the ledge there. Will they be able to cross the bomb? And it looks like they will. And it looks like they will get a bomb plant. Rohawks is tagged. That was a close one as well. And Cracks is tagged up. Simultaneously, there's two in the bomb site and FGZ will get the frag on the shot will he get the second one onto Rohawks and he won't even need to as Takedo with the phenomenal work with the headshot onto Rohawks winning that round there with ease the score is now 5 to 8 and next <laughs> <laughs> and they will now get the G's hopefully <laughs> explosives diffused that's 8-5 for NUTL and remember NUTL just need to win the first map to be the MPG Live Champion. Yes sir, very very true. Let's go ahead and follow the cracks now as he's picking the B side with his M40. Trying to get a smoke bang here but not able to land one. To be really fair, so I also want to send a shout for fast from inside. Alright, we have Johnny Boss being taken out of the hands of Tazix. It's a 4v2 now. Oh, take that back! 3v2 as the cracks picks up the phenomenal headshot onto Tazix. They are already on the bomb site now and probably gonna get a plant down as the cracks is gonna go ahead and just throw the pre nade there onto the bomb site. And it looks like he's gonna tag, but not a frag as Black is tagged up in Rohawks with the shot onto the cracks, but will he get the second frag? FGZ, who we're gonna go ahead and follow now, is the last remaining next to this member. Will he be able to pick up the Deagle Frag? This could mean everything. And it won't even matter because Rojas picks up the Deagle Frag onto FGZ, now making the score 9 to 5. That's the man I wanna go ahead and follow. Let's go ahead and follow Rojas. Rojas with the M40A3. It's gonna go ahead and throw a nade now, it looks like. 
a waiting line to throw the nade. <laughs> As Criollo is taken down by Black's nade early into the round, it's already a 5v4 situation. As Rojas is just looking for a kill now. I'm not sure he's going to be able to get one though. The scope is not picking him very much. Also, it's smoked in the middle of the street as Necrax is tagged up heavily and as is Toxic. And we have Ross <laughs> barely missing a shot there. And it's four on four. With this 10 or 6 score as Nick Rax picks up the shot into Cafe onto Rojas now making it a 3v4 we're gonna go ahead and switch over to Shallion who we haven't watched in a while Shallion is 14 and 9 now as Nick Rax picks up the double onto Tazix and then, now 2v4 but two members are tagged up Johnny Watts and Nick Rax but will Shallion be able to pick up a frag here and it looks like he won't as he's tagged up heavily as well with the bomb on his back, he will get the bomb stuck in a rather bad position. He dies here, and it looks like he did by the hands of Johnny Waz. Zargus is the last remaining member, and he will be taken down. Find the cracks, and the cracks, picking up a three man there. Let's go ahead and follow Criollo. I believe that's it. Criollo, yeah? Okay. Criollo with the AK 47. Throwing the nade, throwing the nade into the middle street area. Now. Stepping back into the double palm area, also trying to help out his teammates in the bomb site, dodging some nades as Black picks up the phenomenal shot onto Skeeto. But Criollo might be able to pick up a frag here as two members of each team go down in quick succession. And Johnny Watts is one of them being taken down by the hands of Shine. Shine with the double onto FGZ with the headshot as well. And the three man with the deagle onto Criollo and the cracks with the nice shot onto Black. But we're gonna go ahead and switch over to as he's in this 1v3 situation. AK and in scope on his back. Will he be able to get this clutch? And he won't as Shallion gets the four man. Now making the score 10 to 6, picking up the frack onto Necrax. Who do you want to follow this round, Hugo? Let's follow Shallion. The top frag oh, from the right now. from the TL. Yep, with a score of 18 and 10. Yep, with one assist as he throws the nade there, and Johnny Waz being taken down. Oh, and picking up the nade kill on Takedo, and Zargus is coming down as well, and the double nade there made by Criollo. A very nice nade, not able to pick up the three man though. On to Toxic, as Toxic sees him coming with the 2v2 now, as FGZ and the cracks go up against Toxic and Black. We're gonna go ahead and switch over to Black now. As he's in the beast skinny area, I believe he's been detected and he is called out. But will he be able to get out of this one? And he will take down one, but will he get the second one? And he won't as Necrax, just the superior player, takes him down with the SMG. Necrax looking for the final kill like he's a predator SMG. Yeah, that's a really important, really important round for next team. They really need to win this one because they are way behind new TL guys. And the crack during the bomb plant will throw the nade, but it looks as if the other player sees the nade. He's gonna get off the bomb site now. And the crack is gonna try and get in here and pick up a frag, but it looks like Toxic will take him down. The score is now 11 to 6, and this is almost match point now for Next Impetus. And NUTL could take the grand finals. Let's go ahead and follow Johnny Waz, who we haven't followed here in a while. He has his SMG, I believe. Smoking the front A area, I'm dodging some sniper bullets as Shine is tagged out by the nade, but no one dying by any early nades. That's rather surprising. But we still got one left by Johnny Waz as he shot through the smoke there onto Garage, tagged up just a little bit, and no one dying. Next up, this is definitely playing very conservatively, just trying to pick up a frag here. But it looks like they won't be the first. It looks like NUTL will be the first to pick up the frag. And two members of the next of team going down a quick session as the first member of the East still going down. Now making it 
a 4v3, but now making it a 3v3 as Black goes down by the other Criollo as well, but Criollo being taken out of the head of Shallion. This could be a fast round as FGZ and the Cracks are the last remaining next impetus members. Let's go ahead and follow in the Cracks now. As he is. It's Tequito and, F and FGZ. Oh, Tequito. Shoutcast. Shoutcaster glitch, I apologize. Tequito with his AK on the double palm area. And Tequito is taken down by the hands of Argus, and FGZ going down. This is match point for NUTL, and it all could be over right here. Yeah, that's really difficult for the next team to just come back. They really need to, they have to, to win six rounds in a row. Alrighty. For the last possible round here, let's go ahead and follow Rojas, as he has... Is M48-3 and Criollo going down and Taza going down as well. That's one member of each team going down a quick succession. As Shalian goes down, that's two NUTL members. That's Johnny Waz goes here. Johnny Waz go going huge. Taking down Black there. Picking up a lot of frags. As Sargas and Rojas and Rojas picking up. Oh, with the plus 10. On to Johnny Waz. Will he get the third? We don't know. It's a 2v2 now. It could be all over here and NUTL could be the champion. But next Inventus could be saying it's not that easy. And they could come all the way back. But will he pick up a frag here? And he won't as the cracks. Takes down Rojas. Zargas is the last remaining NUTL member. We're going to go ahead and switch over to him now. He's in the 1v2 clutch for the win. But it looks as if he might be peaked by the scope. And he is. As the cracks picks up the frag. Now making it the score. 12 to 7. Next in, but this could be making a comeback now. Let's see what they go ahead and have in store. So we're going to start go ahead and start this off with Criollo. For this round, it looks as if he's gonna sit back here and look for a nade to throw as the cracks gets the frag kill for the sniper kill onto Rojas and Criollo nading front A area. They're gonna definitely need to defend A and B this time, seeing as NETL did a mixed bomb site push to it B and two at A, seeing as one member was taken down. Criollo is still just trying to get a frag here and wall banging the gay bin area. It's 4v5 now from the NUTL squad. And they spot one in the cap area, not even able to land one tag. As Criollo is still here at the double palm area. Let's go ahead and switch over to Black. We just picked up that frag there. On to Johnny Waz. Let's see if he'll be able to pick up any other frags now. No one's really moving. Everyone really just wants to win this round. This round is important for both sides to win. And Black is going to go ahead and smoke the street there as they try and cross to the A bomb site. And it looks like their bomb player will rotate. And it looks like NGL is going to go ahead and try and go A now. But that doesn't look like such a great idea, but it could possibly be. Let's see what they have in their book of tricks. As Black is sneaking to the double bin area, and he will pick up one frag, but will he get the second? And he will, as the Keto goes down by the hands of Black, but the Cracks picking up the frag onto Black. But will a second one come from the hands of the Cracks? And it won't, as NUTL couldn't get the bomb down in time. The score is now 12 to 8, and next up, this could be making a comeback here. Yeah, they seem to make four here. rounds in a row. Let's follow the cracks. Alrighty, now we're gonna go ahead and follow the cracks. I... <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and follow the cracks now. As Criollo is taking a man to black and black. Two man onto Tequito. Will, what the hell is well. the, the bind? <laughs> yeah, it's a bind. I didn't mean to do it. <laughs> At <laughs> Shallion with his 21 bomb already in the cracks, being taken down by his own car bomb. And Johnny was the last remaining next impetus member. Picking up one frag, but will he get the third? And he won't. That is game. In UTL are now the champions of MPG Live. Yeah, Nutel Nutel was it the champions from MPG Live season. In, I really didn't hope like a really fast map like this one. 
I really hope like more maps maybe over time so yeah that was it guys uh so Hugo did you see that coming at all I definitely did not see that coming no